there was a very, very, very good reason why French composer Debussy chose to compose most of his piano pieces on a Blutner. And that's because when it comes to melody and clarity and the ability for an instrument to really sing, there's really nothing better than a Blutner. Superb evenness of tone, crystal clarity, And that extra fourth string in the upper register of the piano really elevates this piano to premium, superb status, especially among lovers of melody, one of the most important aspects of music. Now, another great facet of this piano, of course, that we cannot forget is the bass. Though not incredibly boomy, which is not truly necessary, this Blutner has a very, very strong bass that produces the most important thing, which is clarity. You get enough of a volume, but even more importantly, you get this clarity. For example, you can really tell the difference between major and minor down here. Something which often may be harder to tell on different pianos and may also often sound muddy on other pianos as well. But as you can tell here, and even if I go lower, with the utmost amount of clarity, you can really tell what chord I'm playing. I could play a whole piece down here and it would actually sound great. Now any piano teacher worth his or her salt will tell you, you want to stay away from this area when playing chords, especially fancier chords like jazz chords, maybe like that 13th chord. But if you're playing a Blutner, of course, there's an exception. You can do it with ease and with perfect clarity. Now, of course, you can really hear this fourth string in action once we get up to this register. I'm gonna play a jazz ballad that I love to play. It's called Stars Fall in Alabama. And you're really gonna hear how that sings out here in this upper register. That's the magic of Blutner. 